What's up guys? Alright, so today I'm going to be shooting these clay pigeons. This is what they use to uh, do target practice with shotgun. Uh, a guy, a subscriber named uh, Michael Rich asked me to shoot these a while ago and he kept asking and I, I was like, you know, I better do this. Uh, he's been asking for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot these and I was actually really curious myself how many of these will take to stop a 9mm. And uh, so we'll find out today and I'm gonna be using a full metal jacket for that. Also, this is my GoPro It the paint thinner kind of melted the plastic here, but if you see on the side see how clear it is That's how it's supposed to be but when I put uh, Paint thinner it kind of melted the surface the shininess. So I kind of stopped. I didn't go all the way around and uh, It kind of worked out. I guess I can get a new casing for it, but still the all the colors are over there <laughs> all right thought I should let you guys know don't use uh, paint thinner on uh, some plastics because it can melt the, the surface the shiny surface okay let's get ready and shoot them all right guys so a little about these clay pigeons they are super thin uh, I mean not super thin but they are as thin as this cardboard kind of okay and they're super fragile when I was trying to move some uh, there's just a tiny bit of a drop they kind of start cracking and breaking in pieces and uh, so what I did is I kind of um, I divided every 10 of them with the cardboard and I spaced them out because I didn't want the energy from this be the reason why these other ones break so I spaced every 10 and I put a, a cardboard between them okay just to see the actual results from the 9mm going through not because of the energy being transferred into the other ones so every 10 uh, clays I kind of space them and I put a cardboard in between I'll put some here too but uh, so that way we can kind of see the results of the nine millimeter actually going through them and not the energy transfer all right just thought I should I share that with you guys I didn't mention how many I actually have lined up there's 80 of them lined up in uh, sections of 10 so we're gonna go ahead and see how many of these it takes to stop a nine millimeter okay let's get busy All right, I went through all 10 over here. All right, through the first set of 10. Second set of 10. So far 30 of them, third one. Forty. Fifty. It kept going in. Okay, so past the fifty and it's slowing down right around here. At 60, we have no full penetration at the end. Oh, the bullet is over here. There's our bullet. So 51, 52, 53, and it went through 53 of these. We have no penetration at 54. All right, cool, interesting results. So these ones are all safe. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave in comments what you guys want me to shoot next. Uh, sometimes these take a while for me to get them together because there's a big list of things I want to shoot myself. So sometimes I'll uh, squeeze in a couple of the uh, people's requests in there and see what happens. All right, thanks as always for watching. I will see you guys later.
All right, so these little trees, these trees are uh, smaller than the other ones. They're about uh, two and a half, three years old. Okay. And uh, they're being uh, watered right now. And that's the little sprinkler right over there is watering them. <laughs> 